Next is our candidates for Montgomery County District Attorney, Gilbert Garcia. My name is Gilbert Garcia and I'm running for District Attorney. The theme of my campaign is fearless. The theme of my campaign is fearless. It is about the law-abiding citizens of our county living a fearless life. All citizens should be connected to, supportive of, and have faith in our criminal justice system. Law-abiding citizens should not have to live in fear of a police state scrutinizing their every move. I have been a lawyer since 1978. I have over 33 years of professional legal experience. Now, I was board certified, that seems to be a recurring theme here, in criminal law in 1989, meaning I have been board certified in criminal law for 23 years. I'm the only candidate running for this office that is board certified in criminal law. 1% of all the lawyers in Texas. Now, why is that important? In big cases, in capital cases, you should have, as your leader of your prosecution team, a board certified criminal lawyer. Quite frankly, in the DA's office right now, to get to be the, even the head of a district court team, prosecution team, there is a requirement that you're board certified. However, no one running except me is. I received a Bachelor of Arts in Government from the University of Notre Dame. I graduated from the University of Texas Law School. And I then went into the JAG Corps. I was in the Army as a JAG officer, both defense and prosecution. I also have chaired capital cases, both as a defense lawyer and as a prosecutor. Capital cases. No one, no one else running for this office can say that. <clears throat> Some important things. A lot of people tonight have talked about budget. In this recession, when things are as bad as they are, the district attorney's budget has gone from $5 million to $8 million. I will roll that back. Second, the misdemeanor acquittal rate is somewhere between 25 and 44 percent. That means your juries are sitting there listening to cases and the DA's office is losing them somewhere between 25 and 44 percent depending on the year. Misdemeanor dismissal rates somewhere between 38 and 50 percent. That needs to be rolled back. Felony dismissal rates, 30 percent. That needs to be rolled back. But worst of all, the legislature in 09 authorized a veterans court. Our veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan need help. They get in trouble. They need help. How many people have been through a veterans court in Montgomery County? Zero. Three years, no veteran has been helped. They're coming back with PTSD. We should be here to help them. The first plank in the Republican platform, support the troops. The second plank in the Republican platform, freeze the budget. Judge Edwards has a handout here, and one of the ballot propositions for the Republican primary is, and I quote, balanced government, control government growth. Out of control spending should be stopped at all levels of federal and state government through constitutional amendments limiting any increase in government to the combined increase of population and inflation. Increasing at $3 million and dismissals and acquittals, we need better. 
the important thing to remember is do, the, do your research yourself. These are all available online. My name is Gilbert Garcia. I'm running for district attorney. Thank you very much. Tracy Fuller. Good evening, I'm Tracy Pullen, and I'm also running for district attorney. Um, <clears throat> I'm born and raised in this county. I have a beautiful, two beautiful daughters, actually, three-year-old and a one-year-old, and um, a very devoted husband. And so I'm so blessed to be part of this county. Uh, I love Montgomery County. It's the best place, the best county. And it's because of people like you that are involved in the system that make it so great. Uh, when we're talking about why I'm running for district attorney, Funny enough, people look at me and they say, you seem to be very young to be running for this position. And I'm amused by that because I have the most prosecutorial experience in this race. I prosecuted for you for six years and actually did sit on a capital murder, so I have to correct Mr. Garcia, and uh, sent Casey Cantac to prison for life where she definitely deserves to be, where she deserves to die. When we talk about what's important for your district attorney, carrying the big stick, one of the candidates talked about that, carrying the big stick's really important. It's also walking softly is the other part of that. So it's one thing to swing a stick and take off the head of every single person in your path. And it's really easy to do that. The hard part is having the discretion and the wherewithal to take a moment and to think, okay, We've got a 17-year-old kid who has a drug problem. And now we have a 40-year-old man that's a drug dealer. One of them needs to go to prison. One of them needs a chance. That 17-year-old kid could be your son and your grandson or your nephew. And truthfully, this position won't matter to any of you until it's your son or your grandson, or your nephews. You've got to use your discretion. You've got to think wisely. And you have to take a stand on what's right. Because doing the job of the district attorney is to do justice at all costs. And I've said before, doing justice at times is dismissing a case. And doing justice at times is sending someone to prison or giving them the death penalty. And the bottom line is you are the people that make those calls. You are the ones to be applauded. You need someone in the district attorney's office that will stand up and say, yes, there is a time and a place to swing the stick, and there is a time and a place to walk softly. I want to thank you all for your time. I'm going to give you back some time because I know you're tired. My name is Tracy Pullen. I'm running for district attorney. I'd appreciate your vote. Brett Lincoln. Woo! I don't need a microphone. And I'll tell you why. This election is fought in the court of public opinion. And this is my courtroom. And you are my jury. My mother told me I have two ears and one mouth. That means, boy, shut up and listen to what these people tell you. Now, who here thinks that public safety is job one for a law enforcement official? Let me see some hands. All right? Who here thinks that public integrity cases matter to this community? Let me see some hands. Who here thinks that the public integrity division should be abolished? Appreciate your honesty. Who here thinks that the candidate should be honest when they speak? Now, I took office in 2009. My budget has gone up one and a half million dollars. And one of these candidates sat there in the misdemeanor division, which is where her career stalled, and she knows where that money came from because when I took office, y'all told me. You want to make criminals pay. Y'all still want to make criminals pay? Yes. yes. Well, let me tell you, our asset forfeiture division has returned $250,000 to Constable Hayden and Sheriff Gage. 
And we put those assets into the community. We've also come up with a consistent fine and fee schedule that has returned $3 million to the general revenue fund. That's not my money. That's the commissioner's money. And commissioner, where are you? You want to tell the truth today? Do you want to tell the truth today? Did the commissioner's court say that if I raised the money that we'd get it in the budget? Right. That's right. That's where that money comes from. It doesn't cost a plug nickel for y'all because I said I'd make criminal fight and buy how I do. We have 64 years on average for a habitual offender. I rejoice in long sentences. My opponents say that I rejoice in long sentences. And that's true because some people know to go to prison forever. Do I try to seek the death penalty on pedophiles? Do I look at your age and I say you're 50 years old and you're going to die in prison in the next 19 years? I want you to stay in prison for the next 19 years. Do you want me to apologize for that? Because I don't sell puppies and rainbows at the DA's office. We sell justice. It's okay to be hard on hard criminals, but you can't just be hard, you have to be smart. We separate nonviolent, low risk offenders, we do divert them, we put them in the DWI program, we put them in other programs the drug court program. And Judge Wood, how did you like to hear, Judge, that we don't help anybody with mental health issues? This court created a mental health doctor. The first of its kind in the state of Texas. Judge, are you proud of that? I didn't hear you. Are you proud of that? You're proud of it. And does the DA's office have 100% involvement in a mental health case? So you've got your coordinator sitting right there beside you. Now, where do all these veterans go with post-traumatic stress disorder in the mental health caseload? So, let's talk about telling the truth in this campaign. The truth in this campaign is this is public integrity versus public corruption. My two opponents combined represent every single member of Commissioner's Court and the County Judge. Is justice for sale? down at the courthouse? <coughs> Do you think justice should be for sale at the courthouse? Raise your hand if you think justice should be for sale. Because when your spoken promise is to say that you will abolish the public integrity division with the promise that One cases minute. against indicted felons will be dismissed, then that's selling this courthouse. Is your vote for sale? Raise your hand. Do you think Sheriff Gage is endorsing a Brent Lincoln in place? Do y'all think Sheriff Gage is doing a good job? Let me see some hands. Woo! That's right. Yeah, buddy. Do you think Constable Hayden is doing a good job? Woo! Do you play these men for fools? I don't think so. They have endorsed me wholeheartedly. I have been endorsed by every city, county, and state law enforcement agency in this great state for one reason. I don't speak with a forked tongue. I won't budge, I won't back down to political pressure, and I won't say a damn thing to earn a vote that's not the truth. Now, you want somebody to sell puppies and rainbows and tell you how balanced that it should be? Then you got the wrong guy. You want somebody to stand tough? Then I'm your guy. Brett Lee, thank you.